Oh, hey, Kenny, Jim? you found the whiskey. Well, he's gone. Oh, hey, you made it back. Good job. Good job. What the hell do you think you're doing? What does it look like? He's getting drunk. Where'd you get the bottle? The table. Found it. <laughs> you want to throw down again like back on the train? Because I fight better when I'm shit-faced. <laughs> okay, Take Kenny. Calm down there, buddy. Had enough. To hell with you. Getting wasted's not going to help anyone. Yeah? Well, what is? We are fucked. Kenny, I'll beat Molly the shit out of you said again. There's not a single boat left in Savannah. No way out. We got walkers all around us. That crazy fuck on the radio messing with us. Hell, if now ain't the time for a drink? When is, man? When is? You want some of this shit, Ben? Ben, don't lose more points. Yeah, that's what I thought, you little piece of crap. Where the fuck is Clementine? Have either of you seen Clementine? I'm not even Damn asking Kenny. I know. Gotta be around here somewhere. I'm asking Ben. Ben, how did Clementine sneak out of the house? Hey, don't put all that on me. Omid took a turn for the worse, and Krista asked me to help. I'm sorry, I'm doing the best I can here. It's okay, I understand, frantic, Ben. Things got kind of crazy. I told Clementine to stay put. What else could I do? I understand, it's, it's okay. all right. I'm not mad at you. I just want to know where she is. I think she went out to play in the backyard. On her own? With no one watching her? Man, will you get off my back? She's fine out there. She better be or it's your ass. Oh no. God damn it, Ben! Don't you fuck this up again. Clementine? Clementine! Now she's gone. Great. She better not be playing hide and seek. Hey, what's this? It's like a little vent over here. What the hell happened back here? Yeah, what is going on here? Oh, there's a vent there. Don't think that was like that before. And there's a shed here. I didn't even know this was a shed. Doors covered in vines. Don't think anyone came in through there. Yeah, but it would still... Okay, never mind. Why not? It's not like we need to check for supplies. Is she in the doghouse? Better not be in this doghouse, Clementine. Oh, obviously not there. Probably not in the grave with the kid and his dog. I'd imagine probably safe from that. What's going on over here? She could have left through here. It's not like a mark or anything would be left. God damn it, Ben. Is she in the bush? Clem, are you in the bush? Playing hide and seek? Damn it. Ollie Ollie Oxen free, damn it, come out. We can't find you. Yeah, there's like this thing, but it won't it won't really let me do anything else over here. Yeah, it's... Why can't I open this, though? Oh, shit. I was about to say, she could have just gone in the vent. Yeah, we need to open this. Who's there? Who's in here? More walkers? Is this a mini Herschel's farm? It's okay. I got this. Oh, shit! Thanks for shoulder-charging my dick. What were you doing in there? Exploring? And look! Look what I found! Uh, what is it? Find people? Find food? What the hell's in here? I'd like to see... Game... A boat? Well, hot damn! We found us a boat! Holy shit. Swear. Yeah, Kenny, we found a boat. Oh, he dropped the whiskey. Or what? Yeah, it's whiskey. Kenny, you can't drive that for a couple hours. You gotta sober up. Eat some bread or something. Drink some of that nasty fountain water. That'll sober you up pretty quick. Is Omid gonna make it, Doctor? Tell us the news. I would love to know. Apparently he's not important right now, because they're not saying a damn thing about him. Oh, there we go. Omid's doing okay? As well as can be expected under the circumstances. I did what I could for him. Cleaned out the wound, but he's got a real infection. Running a fever. Without antibiotics, I... Will you quit pacing? You're making everyone nervous. Why are you even still here? 
Hey, if your friend really can get that boat working, you're taking me with you as payment for saving your asses. I figure that's fair enough, don't you? Hey, Kenny and well, Ben. You want the good news or the bad news? I'll have the bad news first. Let's get the bad news out of the way first. Yep. Bad news is, she's not taking us anywhere the shape she's in right now. Gas tank's empty and the battery's dead. So what's the good news? That's it. That's all she needs. Some gas and a battery. Other than that, she's good to go. Well, how are we supposed to get that stuff? Uh, yeah, I guess searching the streets. Or Crawford? I don't think I want to go to Crawford. We should go back out on the street, see what we could find. Unfortunately, everything's probably That's stripped. That's not gonna work. Yeah. Crawford took everything and brought it inside their walls. They siphoned every gas tank, stripped every battery. There's nothing left out there. You saw that for yourselves. She's right. Well, what about this Crawford place? Sounds like they'd have everything we need. Maybe we should try there. Now hold on a minute. Surely we have to try. If there are people left in this city who are still alive, who still have supplies, what harm can it do to ask? Oh, a lot. You don't know these people. I do. You showing up with a wounded man? Might as well put a noose around his neck. They don't exactly welcome children with open arms either. What the hell kind of a place are we talking about here? The worst kind? But I don't see what other choice we have. And just how exactly do you figure we do this? Because, from what I've heard, that place ain't exactly friendly to outsiders. There's got to be some way we can sneak in there undetected. There might actually be a way. I know the sewer system that runs beneath Crawford like the back of my hand. Y'all wouldn't happen to have a map by any chance. Don't we have a map from the train? Yeah, actually. There you go. I think I could lead us through so we could pass under the perimeter and right into the center where they keep their supplies. We come up right underneath them, take them by surprise, grab what we need, and get out before they even knew what hit them. That's actually not the worst idea I've ever heard. I mean, it's close, but I don't know. Maybe it could work. I've thought about it before, just never had the people to do it. But I think if we all work together, we could pull it off. And what do you want in return for all this help you're giving us? Crawford doesn't just have what you need for your boat. They're also well stocked with medical supplies. Medicine that my people could use, just as yours could. We can do this. We have to. So, it's decided then? We're going to Crawford? And how many people are going to die on this mission? It. Hell yeah, we can. Are we seriously talking about this? I mean, what about the risk? I don't know about you, kid, but I'd rather take a chance on doing something than just sitting around here waiting to die. That boat out there is an answered prayer. Just gotta push a little bit farther. Are you in or out? We should go tonight, <sighs> under cover of dark. I'll go let my people know. Give you all a chance to prepare. I'll be back before midnight. Be careful. That's how I'm still alive. How do people know what the fuck time it is anymore? Uh, I, I imagine most watches you. are, uh... How long have you been there? Not working. Unless they know how to use stars and shit. Is it going to be dangerous? It's what going to be dangerous? Crawford. Uh, yeah, it'll be damn dangerous. What do you think? I can't lie to you, Clem. Yeah, it's going to be dangerous. But it's the only way to get the things we need to make Omi better. And get the boat working. That's why we have to do this. Do you understand? I don't want anyone else to die. Uh, I want Bree to die, but that's about it right now, I guess. Did Kenny ever tell people that Chuck was Neither dead? Do I, Clem, but sometimes we have to take that kind of risk. Like, does anyone know that he's dead, or am I, I the only one? Go get ready. Uh, say what now? You said you'd need all of us to do this, and you said I'm a big help, remember? Molly said Crawford is the only place left in Savannah that still has people. That means it must be where my mom and dad are, oh, right? Oh, no. This isn't going to work, Clem. Yeah. Eh. I don't think I'll find them in Crawford, Sweet Pea. Why not? Because they're good people. And Crawford is a bad place run by bad people. I don't think they would have stayed in a place like that. How do you know they're good if you've never met them? Well. Raised you, didn't they? Yeah. 
Can't I come with you? She's just gonna run off and look for her parents. It's not gonna work. Don't let her, Lee. Ugh. Oh, they give you some time to decide this one. Yeah, I don't know what I want. Ugh. <sighs> You know, I guess I'll I, I guess I'll let her come. Why not? What what the what's the worst that could happen? She dies? Okay. Okay. You can come. But you have to promise to stay quiet and do exactly what you're told the whole time we're there. Okay. I'm going to go get ready. All right, let's leave before she comes back down. Okay, this could be the best of ideas or the worst of ideas to let her come. I'm completely unsure of which one it is, but we'll figure that out eventually. It shall be known one day whether it was good or whether it was bad. Hopefully she doesn't fucking die there, because that would suck. I don't want to lose my Clem Clem. Check out what I found in the garage. Hatchet, hacksaw, some other tools. Might come in handy on this little break-in. Nice. Can I talk to you a minute? He's gonna be like, why are you bringing Clem? Have a look at the boat. She's a 30-footer. So? So, we're gonna have a capacity problem. Boat that size ain't gonna hold more than five people. Even with one of them a kid. Me, you, Clem, Krista, Omi, Ben, Robin. Oh, Assuming no. Assuming everyone makes it back alive, that's still one too many. Even if we cut Molly loose. Before this is over, we're gonna have to make a decision. You're not serious. Look, I'm just saying, if we want the best chance of... <gasps> he brought Bree with him. Why? Who the hell is this? Yeah, kill her. This is Bree, she can help us. No, I don't want her help. We don't need her. She's just gonna slow us down. I was a student at the school where Crawford keeps their supplies. I know the layout. I don't give a shit. Help, we're in and out faster. Anyone have a problem with that? Yeah, I do actually. Then what are we waiting for? Let's get moving. I have a big problem with that because I don't like Bree. I'm sorry, but she sucks. That's not my problem. Hold up just a sec. You ready? Ready. Hey, whoa, hold on a minute. You're not taking her with us. Did you not hear anything I said about the kind of place Crawford is? Hey, if you can bring Bree, I can bring Clem Clem. Shut the fuck up. This little girl's not just excess baggage. She's gotten us out of a tight spot more than once. She's coming. Deal with it. You heard the man. Let's move out. If you get to bring one person that... Oh, a hatchet? Well, hot damn. Yeah, if he gets to bring one person that I don't want, then I get to bring one person that he doesn't want. That's how it works. It's fair and squaresies. I don't like this other group. I'm thinking about just killing them. They're a bunch of asshats. This should be it. We're right underneath the center of Crawford. The old school should be directly above us. Okay, people. This is it. Remember the plan. We stay quiet. We stay hidden. And we stay together. We find what we need, and we get the hell out before anyone even knows we're there. Got it? And that part about staying close, that goes double for you. Alright. And now we're face to face with the sewer cap. Under Crawford, ready to sneak in, get supplies, and get out. But we will have to do this next time on the harrowing adventures of episode 4 of The Walking Dead. Thank you for watching, and we'll be back to steal some shit.